Nigel Michael from South Wales, United Kingdom. Can you compare Japanese and American female wrestling styles? Can you compare? I, I'm, I'm lost on the question. Like, Is there a difference? Oh, there's a big difference. Um, I had to leave. I, I was in Japan for what, like five, six years, and I had to leave because my body was just getting worn down. When I came to America, I was like, this is so easy. I could do this until I'm 80. Why? Um, lighter styles, people are lighter here, and Japan, uh, it's, it's like a, it's hard hitting, it's like a hard sport, every match is almost 20, 30 minutes, you're going hard, you, you barely sell, somebody hits you with something big and you get up in a strong style and fighting spirit, and uh, that's a hard thing to do, in America, I, in matches where, you know, the other opponent is talking for the first three, four minutes. And it took me a while to get used to that. Like, you just, you just going to talk and taunt me for three minutes? Are we going to lock up and can I slap you around, do something? But, you know, it was easier and it still got over, so. Very good. Tushar from No Wrestling Limitations on Facebook. Do you feel that any matches on all Japan women's pro wrestling shows were too brutal or taken too far? <laughs> um, yes and no. Uh, again, it goes to just the mentality of it. Uh, I remember in one match, I just was winded and I couldn't get up fast enough and be where I needed to be. And uh, my opponent, who was, you know, we have the senpai kohai system, is basically veteran and beginner. She was my senpai and she kicked me dead in the face. Bust my nose, gave me this cut that I have right here. To send a message that to you were too slow. To send a message that I was too slow. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you could do about it. It's just like, you know, get your ass up next time. <laughs> so, yes and no. Wow. Uh, from Anonymous, um, who's the stiffest Joshi wrestler? Currently? Currently. Uh, I would have to say it used to be Maikawa Yumiko, uh, Kumiko, and right now I haven't wrestled anyone from Japan in a while, so I have to say uh, Kyoko Inoue throws a mean ass clothesline. Yeah. Okay. She'll knock you back to third grade. Um, anonymous, in keeping with that, uh, speaking of uh, Kumiko, what was the situation with most of the wrestlers in AJW hating her? Oh, damn. <laughs> That's a real question. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know they did. They're, they, I didn't. Okay. She was my mentor. Um, there was an issue um, with her and, you know, Nane Takahashi once upon a time. And they went at it like maniacs. But, you know, Maikawa had a really great sense of how do you say professionalism? She, she was a perfectionist. You know, she would go crazy when my socks didn't match. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know as, as far as me, she really mentored me and, you know, made sure I needed to do what I needed to do to get further along, whether how hard or whatever it was. Um, and I think that the new generation just couldn't appreciate her old school style. Maybe that's it. Right. Uh, anonymous, continuing with, is this the same Anonymous? Okay. Uh, any good Inui or uh, Shinobu uh, stories? Takako Inoue. Uh, let me see. Uh, gosh, all the stories I have I can barely remember because we would be so damn drunk. I mean, <laughs> this is back when I'm in my 20s and, uh, you know, you party afterwards. I mean, uh, you know, women's Do they go hard, the women wrestlers? They go so hard and trying to keep up and then and then they're up the next day and they're jumping around and you know training before the show and putting the ring together and i'm just like but y'all were just up three hours ago drunk as hell why is everybody sober right now what is there an injection y'all got what's why are y'all kayfabing me this is this is rude wow but um let me see yeah we lots of karaoke stories um taco did have a story she was really upset when our um, WWE tryout, you know, came about, and um, I guess uh, uh, the person in there kind of shot down her shot. The person that they paired paired her up with, and so she was she came back really dejected. So you know, we took her out and got her drunk. <laughs> mm. Was it one? Of, who did they put a uh, 
uh, a female worker in with when you get a tryout up there? Is, is it one of the divas or is it uh, just a... I assume it's one of the divas. Right. I assume. So when you get someone who can work and you're put in with one of the bikini girls in WWE, it's probably tough. I would imagine. Get them to kind of go, especially a worker from Japan, and then they put you in with... I'd imagine. I don't, I, don't, I, I didn't have a tryout match, mm -hmm. so I will, um, I've, I've never been in that situation as far as, you know, having okay. to be in front of everyone and eek. Um, Salvatore M., sorry to be blunt, but what is it like being a big black woman in Japan? Well, Salvatore, <laughs> I... I would, no, I guess that's for you. Uh, what was it like when you walked the streets or went out to eat? Uh, I mean, kind of almost what you would expect. You get a lot of stares. Um, you get a lot of people trying to touch your hair, and you're like, <laughs> stop petting me, I'm not a dog. Um, you know, a lot of people shorter. It's hard to date. It was so hard to date. It, you know, you had to go and find where all the gaijin and all the foreigners were, and, you know. They were intimidated, you mean? No, well, the size, sure. you, they're short. You know, I, I like tall. tall dudes. And yeah. Oh, so, oh, it was you? <laughs> yeah. It was tough to shop for you there. It was tough to shop, to shop yeah, today, gotcha. but still, gotcha. I mean, um, friendly. Everyone was really, really friendly. Everywhere you went, they hear you're American. They just want to talk to you, and for the most part, friendly. Nigel Michael from South Wales, United Kingdom. Can you compare Japanese and American female wrestling styles? Can you compare? I, I'm... I'm lost on the question. Like, is there a difference? Oh, there's a big difference. Um, I had to leave. I, I was in Japan for what, like five, six years, and I had to leave because my body was just getting worn down. When I came to America, it's like this is so easy. I could do this until I'm 80. Why? Um, lighter styles. People are lighter here in Japan. Uh, it's it's like a it's hard hitting. It's like a hard sport. Every match is almost 20, 30 minutes. You're going hard. You, you barely sell. Somebody hits you with something big and you get up in a strong style and fighting spirit. And uh, that's a hard thing to do. In America, I, in matches where, you know, the other opponent is talking for the first three, four minutes. And it took me a while to get used to that. Like, you just, you just going to talk and taunt me for three minutes? I'm going to lock up and... Can I slap you around, do something? But, you know, it was easier, and it still got over, so. Very good. Tushar from No Wrestling Limitations on Facebook. Do you feel that any matches on all Japan women's pro wrestling shows were too brutal or taken too far? <laughs> um, yes and no. I, again, it goes to just the mentality of it. Uh, I remember in one match, I just was winded and I couldn't get up fast enough and be where I needed to be. And uh, my opponent, who was, you know, we have the senpai kohai system, is basically veteran and beginner. She was my senpai and she kicked me dead in the face. Bust my nose, gave me this cut that I have right here. To send a message that to you were too slow. To send a message that I was too slow. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's just like, you know get your ass up next time <laughs> so yes and no wow uh from anonymous um who's the stiffest joshi wrestler currently currently uh i would have to say it used to be my kawa yumiko uh kumiko and right now i haven't wrestled anyone from japan in a while so i have to say uh Kyoko Inoue 